Hello. Hello, everybody. We are here and we are working on the bass part for this violin today. I already signed here where I wanted to place it. I already cut the bass bar 27 centimeter. So now we're going to work on the thicknessing. And here I go. What's going on here? Let's change. I'm Sofia, I'm Sofia Vittori, and I make violin since I was 17, just for having a reference. This is my family, this is me, this is my father Paolo, this is my grandfather Dario Primo Vittori in 1937. And this is my father, this is my brothers Dario and Lapo, and this is a very old form that my grandfather made, so I use both. Internal form and external form, these are my prices. This is my father, and now we are working on the base part together. Okay, let's make it a little more aggressive. And now we go. Pretty far away. <clears throat> Let me make both sides flat and then if you have any question you can ask me in the comments. I can't see the comment live because I'm working <laughs> but if you want to leave a comment, I would be happy to answer you. Sometimes if you leave the comment during the live, they get deleted as soon as the live ends. So just double check if I don't answer you, if your comment is still below the video. If not, just write the comment again and I would be happy to answer your question. Double check my numbers. In the video, um, I just put the link in the description. I will post a link also in the comment. And if you have any question, just ask me. A millimeter down. <clears throat> so let me go. Thank you. 
And after we finish to do the, the perfect thickness, I will show you my little tea trick, my little trick <coughs> to draw the base bar before to start shaping it. Okay, we are still far away. Work side here. explaining exactly why I do this shape that my father taught me so I learned from my father to be perfect yes there this way <coughs> So now let me show you, <clears throat> so as you can see, it's not really, let me see if you can see it here, uh, it's not super regular, it's made like a banana. So this is my secret, keep it. <laughs> and now <clears throat> let me show you how do I place it. I like to work with the base bar on a flat surface, like that, then. Probably I will do this a couple of times to make the measure 27, the same distance from the border. Usually it's around four centimeters. So I do that. Four centimeters here. And four centimeter here. 
then I measure how how long it is. A tiny little bit more than 27. <clears throat> Let me see how does this fit. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I will keep it there. So now I want to make a 90 degree sign here. So I'll just do that so that I can have the perfect spot where every time I'm <clears throat> In placing it, I will put it back there and up here as well. Like that. Let me know if you like my live. Let me know where you are from also. So now it's time to pre-fit it. So today we are not going it all together, but just the beginning. So you can see how I do pre-fit it so like that. Then I take the pencil, I put my finger like this, and I go on in the, the center. Then I take my hand the same way and I move it with the pencil, tracing the line. Like that. And like that. Done. Can you see it? I don't know if we can see it. Um, you can see the line. So now what I do, I will take my, oh, I never know if it's gouge or chisel, I think chisel, and I will just remove what is in excess, but no, don't go to the line up here, just leave some part. Almost touch the line here, but not here. Like that. Okay. Here. Then we try. So now, yes, I can take my part at the end. But just go little by little. So, because if not, it will take you ages <clears throat> to then refit it per perfectly. So just take your time. Uh huh. We're almost there. So now I can take a bit more here. Like that. So you see, it's already almost perfect. I mean, of course we're far away from perfect, but yeah, it will not take too much time now. So what I will do now, because I want to be sure that is how I want it also, considering this direction here. So I'm thinking how I want it to be so I want it to be a little bit more straight, not too much angle. <clears throat> oh my God, today I have like something in my so throat, so like that. And I don't place the little thing because I don't want to clean the glue after it. <laughs> so then I just go freehand. And this is also how I explain my method. Then we start with a piece of chalk. Back. And we go from here. So it doesn't take ages. Like that. If you always want to remember, so as I said, I want to have it a little bit more straight. So I will keep it a little bit more straight with my hands. Do like that. And then where I see white spot, I will just remove it. Now I go with the big chisel because I'm still far away. Then I have all, I will explain you 
all the other way that I go around when I'm almost at the end. Okay, if you want to remember how to place it, if it's like that or like that, just make an arrow. So you will remember. And that's it. 